All right, students, I want to show you how to use Creative Cloud Express. This is a very easy program to use online that allows you to create customized posters, like movie posters, wanted posters, or even comic strips. To start off, I'm going to go ahead and click Continue with Google. I realize this is a login screen, and you might not have a login, but that's okay. By doing so, it will offer you to create a login screen for your first time. I recommend using your single sign-in with your Centennial ISD 12 Google account. By the way, don't lie about your birthday. Some students just try to choose a really close date, and that locks them in at a young age. You don't want to lie about that because you might be restricted using certain things based on your age. So make sure you put the appropriate birthday when you first log in. Once you log in and get going, here's the home screen. And this is where you can start creating a new project. There's lots of different things you can choose from. These are just template groups. For example, you can create flyers or a cool movie poster. If I come over here, there's some album covers or a resume, some pretty fun things you can do here. Now, I know that I either want to create a wanted poster or a comic strip. So you can come up here to the search all templates and type in like a wanted poster. So I'm going to type in wanted and look, there's already some ideas of things that I can do. Uh, let's say I want to start with this one right here. I could click choose from template and it kind of gives me some more ideas as I go through. Or if you wanted to do a comic strip, you could type in the word comic or comic strip. And look, there's a bunch of options here of cool comic strips and things you can do. Here's this one. Um, or I might just choose this one right here. Look, start from this one. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. I want to create using this. This is just a beginning template. So I'm going to go ahead and click this to get started. From here, hopefully it's fairly intuitive. On the left-hand side, there's those templates that I was already looking through. Here's where you can search through different templates and change them. If you want to add text, you can come in here, and there's different types of text designs that you can throw in there. Or you can add your own text box. Now, when you do that, the text box appears here, but over on the right side is where you change a bunch of stuff about it. I can go ahead and throw some text in there. You can, again, change the color if you want to change the color to be something else. Um, it has some suggested colors in there. You can add some shape effects or some drop shadows or some outlines. But if you just want to resize it, all you need to do is come and click on it and come to the corner here, and you can resize it to be big or small. Notice that it kind of restricts itself to your page, so it's okay to have things run off the page if you need to. Um, and do different things. You can even turn it sideways by rotating it right here. So there's some fun things you could do there. To add photos, you come to the photo section, and this is where you can add photos. Um, this Adobe Creative Cloud Express has a bunch of different stock photos you can choose from. So you can type in things like space if you want a space scene, and you can throw that in there. Now, if you just click on something, it will just appear as an asset on your screen. But if you wanted to apply it, let's say I wanted to apply it to this specific box right here, I'm going to click on that box and look on the right. This is where I'm going to get my options. I could choose to add an image there and then choose to add that image. So that's one cool way to fill up an entire square that I'm able to do different things with that. There's also icons and design aspects assets, uh, which you can already see some of those on the screen, like right here, the shape, uh, which is a really cool kapow, or these speech bubbles that I can add to my design. But anyways, just search some of these icons and these design aspects. Icons are very simple. If you find an icon, like let's say, let's say I want to find a mask, I can find a mask and add that in there for my superhero if I'm doing a superhero thing. Once you click that in there, because it's an icon, it allows you to change the color if you want it to be a completely different color. Um, or again, you can also change the size like the text, but you can also do a bunch of different things as well. For design aspects, these are more just different shapes. You can do a, a, a flag and see what types of design assets are in here. These are a little bit more clip arty, but again, I can add them in here. One thing to watch out for, if you ever see this little icon right here. This is a premium item, which means you can't use it unless you pay for it. So we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to ignore those and we can add certain illustrations or design elements using design elements in here. Oh, let's add this cool space guy. Oop, added it twice. All right, so once once I add my elements and move it around, I'm going to create my poster and call it good. When everything's said and done, I'm going to come up here to the download button, 
and I'm going to save it. You can save, save it as a PNG, a JPEG, or a PDF. Typically, a JPEG is great for an image, or a PDF is great if you have a large document where you want people to read it. Once I click that, it will ask me to download it, and you can go ahead and use it. All right, good luck.